concerned about not getting any TFLs? Or, um, Hinger doesn't sound that concerned because UMass kind of ran a bunch of three step drops and stuff. Like, yeah. Is that a concern? The first um, game? You know, not as much of a concern as much as it's going to be more of like a, a focus, you know, kind of like, okay, you know, we didn't really get any, but we need, that's going to be a part of our defense. You know, we want those big plays. We want to make, you know, game-changing kind of plays. And that's something we need to definitely, when we get an opportunity to do it, we need to do it. Were you surprised at all? I mean, if you looked at the stat sheet and, and didn't, didn't see any? I, mean, I was a little surprised, you know, obviously because the, the, the athletes we have on defense are definitely capable of doing that. You know, Chris has got, you know, I think, Dang near 50 TFLs in his career, so um, you know we have the athletes that are capable of doing it, and the guys that have made those plays in the past. And, you know we just need to go out and do it now. How much do you feel like the defense actually showed in the season? Um, you know we showed a little bit. Um, kind of we showed just as much as we wanted to. I think you know we carried it. We only carried a certain amount of calls in, and that's kind of what we wanted to do. And that's kind of how it's going to be every game. You know we're going to carry a certain number of calls into a game. And then we're going to keep some in our back pocket, you know, just in case, you know, hey, do we need this? Do we need that? You know, in this situation, maybe this will work better. That type of stuff. So, did you pay any attention to some of the FCS scores uh, this weekend? Like, yeah, I saw the Oregon State getting beat. I actually watched that game, and I think it was it. Was it who else was it that got beat? There was one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw that one. North, North Dakota State. So, you know, it definitely shows that, that, you know, you need to be prepared for every game and you can't take anyone lightly because they have athletes at FCS level that, you know, some of them are, you know, going to the NFL and play and have success in the NFL. So, you know, there's a lot of players there that are able to make plays. And if you don't take them seriously and if you don't go out there and play the way you're supposed to play, you know, they'll, they'll beat you. So. So is this game more than just a bridge to Arizona State? I mean, I think fans are looking at it as you know, Tennessee Tech. What can they possibly bring? And uh, I mean, you guys kind of have a combination. You got to have focus on this one, but you know that uh, the first road test under a new regime is going to be pretty tough too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think we we definitely want to focus on this this game right now. You know, they've got a lot of great skill players. You know, their quarterbacks a dual threat player. I think they put up close to 400 yards rushing on the ground. Um, so that's any time a team can do that. That's impressive. You know, they know that they have athletes. You know they can make plays, so so we need to come ready to go and, and ready to shut that team down. I feel pretty confident about dealing with the spread. I know they only show, you know, they put one game against an AI school, but yeah. that's what they like to do. Just yeah. Yeah, you know, we've, we've played enough spread teams, you know, we've, there's a lot of great athletes in this conference, a lot of great teams that play the spread, and, and so we've had a lot of experience in defending that. So I think we have some confidence playing against six, we've just seen it.